Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back at Estancia La Pacho, and we are working. We've been working really hard. Uh, been doing a lot of missions. Uh, we can pull the map up here. Uh, all the purple we harvested. Uh, there's some dark green out there that uh, is about ready to be harvested. I'll tackle that. Uh, and you'll notice field 14 down there. It's ready to remove tops. Uh, our sugar cane is ready, so we're going to get to that, but uh, we've got some business to take care of first. Uh, number one, you can look down here, field 24, that's where we're at. Uh, these uh, two fields are owned by the same farmer, uh, and I worked these fields. I did some extra missions on the side, and the reason I did that is I didn't feel right working on this, uh, what do you call this thing, this little plateau up here, this little hill back here behind me. Um, I didn't feel right starting work on it without actually buying it in some form or fashion. And the farmer that has field 24, that's the only field located really close to that mountain. So uh, I'm going to buy field 24. He also owns field 23, but I'm going to hold off on that one um, and just get 24. So let me go ahead and purchase this. This is planted in canola right now, so uh, we're going to buy that. Uh, you can see I've got the... Uh, Loyal, loyalty bar full up there with him so uh, hopefully that'll stay true with uh, field 23 when we go to buy it so I bought that one we'll head uh, around let's see is there a road nope I guess I'll just drive through the grass I got a tractor it'd be alright so now we can work on all of this now uh, including that plateau up there and that plateau is going to be a it's going to be a job let me tell you but uh, I can work on this. I won't do a whole lot at once. It's going to be a little bit at a time. Uh, patience is uh, a virtue, I guess. So. And the next thing is I want to drive around here to the shop. i got business to take care of at the shop. So we'll get down here and cut out in front of traffic there like that. Really looking forward to working on that. It's going to be quite a project. Uh, so I'm going to start working on it just a little bit at a time. Alright, you'll notice we got equipment in the sale point. Why do we have equipment in the sale point? Because we're going to sell it. Uh, yep, that's why it's there. Um, number one, we've got the, the small star. I really don't need it now. Um, I left the headlights on. Really don't need it now. Um, I've got the bigger one. I've got the 180. This is the 105. And the, uh, the Brentner trailer. I really don't need that either. Um... It's only got a capacity of 8,500, and I'm just ready to upgrade. Speaking of upgrading, got the FMZ, what do you call this thing? FMZ Biz, Bison? Yeah, Bison, there it is. Bison Super. Um, it's not real super. It's a nice little small starting combine. Doesn't even have a cab for, uh, for air conditioning up there. But uh, it's time to upgrade that one as well. Uh, and the uh, small loader arms for the... Uh, well, actually, for this tractor over here that I'm driving right now, I put the uh, the bigger arms on it. Yeah, it looks a little, uh, a little, uh, well, hmm, what would be the word? Stubby? I don't know. Uh, but these are the bigger arms. I like them a lot better. They have a higher reach. And um, it seems to work. I mean, it doesn't topple over or anything. I got the weight on the back. And uh, it seems to do pretty good. So, let's get this stuff sold. Hopefully we'll make a little bit of money back. Hopefully we'll make a lot of money back so I can buy some stuff. want to buy things. Alright, doing good. Getting close to that five mark. Not going to quite make it to half a million, but uh, that's close. Alright, the first thing I want to buy... I thought about selling the, uh, the other Massey. Um, where's it at? This one. This one that I bought... I was going to sell it, and I was like, well, you know, I haven't had it that long, and I could probably use it when I go to plant, uh, when I buy another planter. So I'm going to hang on to it for right now. Uh, I could use it for a few things around here. I may put some front loader arms on it and, and work on uh, a little bit of forestry with it, maybe. Uh, or I could use it to plant uh, sugar cane and uh, maybe use it on the other planter. Uh, I don't know. Maybe use it on the tipper here, on the auger wagon. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of uses still for this uh, tractor here, so I think I'm going to hang on to it. But, uh, anyway, let's see, where, here's my tractor. Back at the shop, what was I going to buy? Oh, I've done another tractor. Yeah, I want another tractor to pull that, uh, that plow that I bought. 
There's just not uh, not enough ponies in that uh, that other Massey. So let's see, tractors. I want to get something with a little oomph. I was looking at the Case Magnum. Um, I could get the bigger Massey and put 400 horsepower in it, but I kind of want to. I don't know. I kind of want to mix things up a little. I don't want to stick with one particular brand. I'd kind of like to, you know spread it out a little bit so uh, I like the Stara that I have for that one seater um, I like the Massey tractors that I have this little uh, utility Massey is a, a great little tractor I like it I'll probably hang on to it um, but I kinda wanna get another tractor just with some ponies in it and uh, I've done New Holland um, I'm doing New Holland over on the west coast and um, I kinda don't wanna do that here really I wanna do something different so I'm gonna get a case and uh, no, I don't like the uh, the Challenger. I'm really not a fan of the Vultra. I'm not familiar with them. They're uh, they're across the pond. They're pretty popular, I think. But uh, gonna do the case. And let's see, 435 horsepower. Do we want the crawler track? Tell you what, just for standard wheels. Of course, I don't know. It'd probably be better with the plow to have the crawler track. Um, you can do, oh, they changed this up now too. You can do the narrow twin wheels or you can do the rear, just rear twin wheels. I like that option. Uh, you see this more often um, with, uh, with the farmers on the farms. Standard. 20, extra $20,000. So that, how much that would that say? 365. 345. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It'll pull that uh, that plow a whole lot better. So we've got the big engine in it, right? Yep. Crawler track. All right, let's buy it. All right, it is ours now. We can use this for many, many applications. No limit really with this. All right, I'm going to leave that little tractor here and I'm going to head up to the farm with the new big tractor. Now I've got 129,000 left. I, I'm probably gonna make uh, more money down the line here. It's not gonna take long. I've been doing missions. Uh, I'll probably keep doing missions because you know it's good money. It's a lot of work. It's honest work. Let me be clear about that. It is honest work. When I work these fields, um, it's not cheating. It is actually honest work. So I am earning the money that I'm making by working for these farmers. And let me tell you, some of the equipment they have for some of these fields, you get a 12-row corn head on one of these huge fields, like 29 or, you know, 31, something like that. It takes a little while to do them. So I'm putting time in on it. All right, let's go in here and find the plow. You'll notice uh, this is growing pretty well. Take a little drive around here. The uh, canola I planted here, canola is uh, coming up pretty good. Comes all the way around the uh, silos here. So we'll be ready to harvest that. And uh, you're probably wondering, uh, you noticed I sold the uh, the harvester. And I don't have enough money for another harvester. Well, that's that's the plan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on, um, you know, missions and... Um, Hopefully we'll hit a great demand for something. We haven't hit a great demand yet. I kind of want to see what the prices do for great demands. Uh, I haven't seen them on normal, but I have been watching the prices. So if I see a price that's really good uh, on some stuff, soybeans is actually pretty decent down at the transport, up at the transport company now. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on the price and see what the what the peak is, what the high, high price is on these. But uh, hopefully we'll hit a great demand and it'll be um, a high price. Boy, look at that sugar cane. Stuff is tall. Look at that. Well, you get lost in this. Oh, we already did. Yep, let's see. Tell you what, we can go ahead and start harvesting that, I guess. Nothing else really going on right now. There's no fields to be uh, harvested for anybody else. Plenty of missions and stuff out there. But uh, anyway, back to what I was talking about, the harvester. I'm probably going to upgrade the harvester. Well, it's definitely going to be an upgrade, but um, I'm looking at the Case 7130. I really like the Case. I've always liked this uh, this combine, 
it uh, you can get a 35 foot header for it and um, it works great it has a 10,570 capacity the other one I looked at was this one here it's only got an 8600 capacity and a 25 foot header uh, it's the small Massey Ferguson I really like the case better so that's probably what I'm gonna go for uh, when I have some money so uh, we need to make some money we will definitely make some alright let's see let me go get the harvester and this this is where I might have to use two tractors I moved that little bin out here beside the harvester so this is the basic I think it's a lizard harvester actually hopefully it'll hook up to this yep now I think this will hook up to that won't it? I think that's how it goes back up to it here find out in just a second am I close enough? nope here we go I have no idea what the capacity is on this. Got my uh, little case 1455 sitting out here. Plowing away. You can see that I've set a perimeter up here. I just got to plow the inside of that. Now, I've heard that this sugar cane regrows. So, I'm not going to plow or cultivate this field after I harvest here. Uh, let's see. How you turn this on? First, you need to unfold. Oh, there we go. Now we turn it on. Oh wow, that thing kind of sinks down when you turn it on. Look at that. All right, let's get up here and harvest this if we can. Am I harvesting? Yeah. Look at this. Wow, lots of animations with this. I'm not destroying any of it. I hope with that cart. I think it's uh, getting it all. I want to hire that out. Huh, I wonder why that pipe turned up there. It's still shooting it out the back. That's weird. You would think that would... Uh... Hmm. That is strange. So this is how it works. It cuts the tops off there with that little blade thing. Why is this thing slowing down? Oh, sir, you're not done here. I guess he thinks he's done. Of course, he's going to drive through it. That's... Whoa. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All you see is this little pipe sticking up out of the sugar cane. Uh, I think the hired workers are a little confused. I think they need a little... Uh, a little extra adjustment there does it turn the other way I don't know I don't know why he turned like that but I've, I've got it hired out because I kind of watch and want to watch it and see how it does uh, plus it won't destroy the crop as I uh, harvest it wonder why it didn't go on down the, the line there hmm I bet that's supposed to swing over to the other side of the deal. You're not really supposed to drive through the crop like that. I'm going to go in cab. Ooh. Forgot about the uh, crop coming through the cab. I guess they haven't fixed that yet. This would be a lot cooler if uh, it didn't do that. Wow. Okay. Ooh, 1455. Got to move it. Back up 1455. park it over here by the shed all right yeah this tractor is a little confused I think pretty sure it's not supposed to do that okay now it's gonna go on the outside but the question remains will it go all the way and it looks like it's already missed some yeah, that needs some adjustment there on the hired workers here. Plus this, I'm pretty sure that tube up there is not supposed to be uh, turned that way because now you got magic stuff coming through the wall of it. I 
All right, tell you what, let me go get my truck. Get the tipper, or what do you call it, the trailer. There it is. Okay. And I'm thinking about plowing this up back here. I was going to just leave it alone as grass, but I really am thinking about plowing it. Or maybe that over there. We kind of own that where that uh, that road comes down. We own this side of that over here. So I may plow that up and plant it in something. But uh, enough for field creation today. Let's focus on sugar cane harvesting. It's the new crop for the platinum release. Yeah, I think I'm just going to park this right here. Because eventually I'm going to have to dump into this thing. Yeah, see, now he went all the way. That I don't know about that. That's different. It looks like it's getting full. Yeah. What they need to do is make it to where the hired workers can go around the edges of the field. Where you can have an option of how you want them to harvest, whether you want them to go back and forth, or just go clockwise around the field. Because I have a feeling if they did this clockwise around the field, A, you could keep the tractor out of the crop. Because right now, you can't even see the tractor. It's not there. Uh, and, whoa. Why'd he stop? Oh, he's full. Well, this could be a conundrum here because i got to take it off of hired worker now. And it's going to destroy that little bit of crop there. Yep. So that's an issue. Let's see. I need to uh, figure out how to do this now. Get it up there a little closer. Oh, yeah. My pipe wants to pick up on that now. Let's see. I need to turn that off. Nope. How do you... Let me turn the help on. I'm going to need the help for this. This is a little bit different pipe in. Okay. So now I need to back up with this thing. That's not going to be really an easy task because it's got a... It's hooked up to the back of that. So backing up is not going to be easy. I'm going to have to line this thing up really well. How do you, I guess I need to go back here, how do you fold, that's what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to fold the harvester up. Now let me try to run that up there. Third time's a charm. Here we go, now I'm a little closer. Alright, let's try that. How now do I... Oh, okay, here we go. So that dumps it. How do I bring it up? Pull back on the right stick. And then dump it. Still feel like I need to get closer. I don't want to dump it out on the ground. Let me get a little closer. Just a little bit if I can. I think that's as close as I'm going to get to it. Am I up far enough? Yeah, there we go. So that's how you do that. I guess it just phases through the pipe up there. It's too bad we can't move the pipe. I don't think we can move the pipe. No, nope. and it really doesn't matter if you switch back and forth between implements, it's going to control it all, so... Okay. So that is how you do that. Um, I may have to do this manually because it's not getting all of the, uh, the crop here. Hopefully that thing will turn back around, too. Nope. It's 
it's not turning around. How do you turn that back around? Lift harvester, turn off harvester, pipe out. Maybe the pipe needs to be out. Nope, it's still not turning around. Um, well, I don't think there's a way to do it. For some reason, that black thing turned around that way. So, but anyway, I'm, I don't know. I'm harvesting sugarcane. It's it's throwing it out the back and uh, it's going in the trailer. So. I guess I'll keep on doing this here, destroying some of that on the edge there, but oh well. Alright, this is how you do it. Tell you what, I'm gonna run I'm gonna do it clockwise. I'm gonna keep my tractor on the outside of the crop. That way I can keep most of my crop. It's gonna take a little uh, getting used to. But this is gonna take forever, why? We're going to have a lot of sugar cane, but man, this thing is going to... It's only harvesting two rows at a time. Alright, I'll see you guys in about a week. How <laughs> about that? Alright. Alright, guys. Well, that's sugar cane harvesting. We'll come back and uh, hopefully we'll be done with this. So until then, guys, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys later.